Is there anything more appropriate? What's up all you beautiful people, it's Ashley here. Wow, it's been eight months since my last video. Do you guys miss me? No? Okay. I had a whole other video planned, but instead I wanted to make a video on some tips that you can use to help combat student depression. Now I could just follow what this thing says, but I don't want to do that. For the last few weeks, every day when I wake up, I feel like there is this enormous weight on my heart, on my head, on my entire freaking body, and it sucks. You've got essays, you've got reports, you've got tests, you've got projects, you've got exams, you've got pretty much anything a school can throw at you. The pressure is on, and I'm going crazy. And studies are now showing that depression is a real threat among students. For example, in Hong Kong, more than 60% of secondary school students are suffering from symptoms of depression and 40% of the students are suffering from anxiety. 44% of American college students have reported having symptoms of depression and those are only the ones who reported it. So guys, if you're like me and you're a student, and you're feeling the stress or you're starting to feel the stress then based on this article from Psych2Go here are some tips on keeping yourselves happy and safe in your educational environment number one get some exercise now exercise has been proven to release endorphins which is a chemical neurotransmitter in the brain associated with happiness and positive feelings so this could be the right option for those of you who feel moderately depressed, but if your depression is severe, then the cure may not be so simple. Nonetheless, I think it's worth a try. Number two, don't stay silent. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not keep everything that you're feeling locked up inside your heart. Your heart can only take so much. If your school or campus has a counseling facility, take advantage of that. If you have friends or family that you can talk to, talk to them. It's very, very vital to lift some of that weight off your shoulders. Number three, sleep. What is this sleep you speak of? Can I eat it? According to the article for an enjoyable life, it is a general rule to keep a regular sleeping routine and making sure you get enough of it. Of course, there are a lot of habits that can affect a good sleeping cycle. Nevertheless, it has been proven that sleep benefits learning and memory formation. Speaking of eating, check your eating habits. These are good. This is not sponsored, by the way. I just blame you for those, Shane Dawson. Keeping regular eating habits with a balanced diet helps boost metabolism and ensure that the energy is used sufficiently. Breakfast is one of the most important meals you should be consuming. With this, you will feel fueled, healthier, and energized. And number five, just relax. Yeah, easier said than done article. No, but seriously, I'm sure a lot of us have things in our lives that we enjoy doing and all in all, just relax us. For me, I would probably sing a favorite song at the top of my lungs and butcher all the notes that I can't sing, playing my piano, playing a video game. Well, in my case, specifically one that has death and destruction. There's a lot of anger to let go. But I think the best form of relaxation is laughing. Laughing like a frickin' hyena. I'll be watching videos by Rooster Teeth, Soviet Womble, or watch the entire Eleven Junk Guys Play series, and for a while, I just pretty much forget about all the stress and the pressure. And, well, it's a good feeling when you're laughing your butt off. So there you go, those are some tips to combat student depression as well as some of the ways that I try to stay happy and positive and just not 
get affected by all of these things that school is throwing against you because it's all just temporary. It's all gonna be over soon. You just got to push through. So how do you guys combat student depression? Let me know in the comments below or you can leave a message at my Tumblr. And that is my time. Thank you so much for watching this video. The link to the article will be in the description box below.